Hello friends, welcome to the Goals in Cloud Technologies. My name is Avinash Pujari and I am a trainer for SAN, IBM AIX, VMware Virtualization and the Linux with the Goals in Cloud Technologies. About me, uh, I have almost 10 plus years of experience in IT industry and uh, I am uh, EMC Certified Technical Architect and I am NetApp Certified Technical Architect. I have done the AIX certification also. And long back I did the uh, MCSA 2003 but I am no longer in the Microsoft field. So this video is specially uh, for the beginners in the SAN technology. So, SAN it stands for Storage Area Network and it is a network which provides the faster input output of the data with redundancy and of course it provides the space to store the data on top of it. Okay, so <coughs> Storage Area Network. So, it is a network which provides faster input output of data with redundancy with redundancy and it also provides space to store data so as you can see definition is very simple and the definition itself we have uh, three advantages first advantage is the faster IO so in a SAN environment faster IO is the advantage so minimum 1 Gbps speed we get with this and 16 Gbps is available in today's day okay but technology we have 100 Gbps also so as per the survey of the one of the organization uh, companies are not utilizing the 4 Gbps environment properly so there is no need of a 16 Gbps actually but we have 16 Gbps so if you want a 16 Gbps environment you uh, will be getting a good performance but it is costly also. Then second advantage of this technology is the redundancy. So redundancy means if one device goes down, another device takes the control. So in a redundancy, uh, in a SAN environment, everything is redundant. So we get A part and B part. If A goes down, B takes the control. If B goes down, A takes the control. And uh, because of redundancy, we can say we get the security also. So because of redundancy, uh, our data is secure and uh, at the hard drive level, in a storage technology, RAID concept is available where uh, one disk failure or two disk failure are allowed depending on type. And then, fourth advantage of this technology is space to store the data. So, of course, it is the bunch of disk drives, it is a collection of disk drives so where we can store the data. So this is the advantage of this technology, very simple to understand. Then fifth advantage of this SAN technology is n number of server connection, server connection. So n number of server connection means what? There is one association with name SNI that is Storage Network Industry Association and as per the SNI definition, n number of servers we can register. So SNI is a vendor neutral organization who sets the rules and regulation for the storage manufacturers. So in the market, uh, different different models are available and depending on the model, uh, number of servers we can register with it. So right now uh, in market, higher end box is available that is EMC VMAX and with this box, 16,000 servers we can register. So right now maximum limitation is 16,000. Then sixth advantage of this technology is scalability. SAN is scalable. So as per our requirement, we can add and remove servers, add and remove hard drives, and um, add and remove SAN switches also in a SAN environment. So it is highly scalable. So we can uh, <clears throat> buy minimum number of disk drives and we can grow big. Okay. Then.
serverless backup serverless backup and eighth advantage is lan free backup lan free backup so when our data is stored on a sandbox we can connect our tape library directly to the sandbox and uh, it uses the fiber channel connectivity so because of fiber channel connectivity it is faster that's why lan free backup is the advantage and the serverless backup means our data is stored on the sand so to take the backup server resources are not required so server if you see the definition of the server it is a machine uh, which provides services to the client and definitely backup is not a client service backup basically we use it for the uh, security purpose okay so serverless backup is also one of the advantage of uh, this technology then here ninth advantage of this technology is clustering or we can call it as a high availability so to implement the OS level clustering, we require a SAN environment because it provides you the block level access and uh, raw space is required for that. So, uh, without SAN, we cannot do the clustering, so SAN is compulsory required. Then, 10th advantage of this technology is block level access. Block level access. So, in a storage, there is a concept called as logical unit number and uh, logical unit number is nothing but a collection of blocks actually. So it collects the blocks and it creates the group of uh, those blocks and we can present it to the specific server. So block level access is uh, one of the biggest advantage of this technology and why SAN technology is very successful in the market because uh, if you see um, in today's date we can do uh, the transactions, we can do the uh, emailing from anywhere okay so it is possible because of this centralized data management okay so centralized data management so centralized because of this uh, feature san is widely used disadvantage of this technology is compared to any technology it is costly compared to any technology sign is very costly so if you have any doubt you can comment on this uh, video and i'll get back to you on that now let's see the uh, data center architecture how the devices are connected to the sand environment by using the fiber channel connectivity so let me mind about this let's say these are our client machine that is end user machine and uh, at this level no doubt windows is the true leader so we get the windows 8 windows 10 operating system okay and in some machines you will find the linux operating system also so uh, and uh, with the laptop and desktop we don't have to order uh, ethernet port separately by default we get that one so it goes to the LAN switch. So we can connect it to the LAN environment, LAN environment by using the wired or the wireless connectivity. And no doubt here, Cisco company is the true leader in the LAN environment. Then, let's say in a data center we have uh, five servers. Again, in a graphical user interface, there is no competition to the Microsoft, so Microsoft Windows. After Microsoft Windows, AIX is the true leader in the production environment. Then, closest competitor to the AIX is the Linux operating system, which is almost open source. Well known operating system is the Solaris. And uh, in virtualization, VMware virtualization is commonly used, so VMware is VM. Now, this machine goes to the LAN switch like this. Okay, so if we don't have a SAN infrastructure, how we store the data? We install the OS on a local hard disk, okay, and we keep our application data 
on a local hard disk okay however if we want to get the all the advantages of a sand technology we should connect it to the sand environment now how to connect this one to the sand environment so we require a special card to that we call it as a hpa card so uh, it's a host bus adapter okay so for redundancy purpose we require two hba cards two hba cards let's say this is h1 this is h2 and then here sand switches and the storage box in storage redundancy is there by default so it is divided into a part and b part and this is our sand switch sand switch sand switch and from a part connected to this from b part connected to this from a part connected to this from b part connected to this like that and then our h1 should be connected to this h2 should go to this so h1 h2 h1 h2 h1 h2 h1 and h2 okay so here how it works so install your linux operating system on a local hard drive okay and keep your application data from the disk coming from the sand so keep your application data over here okay so this is the uh, best way uh, we can do the boot from sand also here so boot from sand is nothing but uh, we install the operating system on a disk coming from the storage so now uh, this option uh, that option is also available and uh, if you connect if you want to connect a uh, tech library to it so this way you can do the connection and this is our tape okay so here fiber channel fiber channel fiber channel fiber channel connectivity we use and here it is ethernet so we use the ip protocol ip ip okay so to this part We call it as a data center, data center, or to this part we call it as a SAN infrastructure also, SAN infrastructure also, and this is actually our LAN environment. So this way we do the connectivity. So uh, in our next video I'll show the uh, connectivity how we do the actual connection between the devices. So we have actual data center set up and I will show you uh, the physical device how we do the physical connectivity from server to the sand switch and from sand switch to the storage thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and you'll be receiving a lot of good videos from us thank you